for you and me, you and me. So let's discover love's great wonder. Let's discover the spell we are under. Merlin Malili. Welcome to the Love Show, where we grapple with the question, what is love? So we finally reached season five. I can't believe it. It seems like yesterday I just started making the love show. And now I'm five seasons in. We are five seasons in. It's exciting. So at long last, season five of the love show. So today, after our long break for the summer season, we are back, obviously, with the first show of season five. And today, on this first show of season five, we want to know, is love getting vaccinated? I understand there's a lot of arguing about this, about getting vaccinated. And I understand that the unvaccinated aren't specifically going out of their way to not love, but I'm not sure that they understand the slippery slope upon which they've embarked. I'm afraid that this may be the path of hatred. We shall see. If getting vaccinated is love, then not getting vaccinated might then be hatred. Oh, so originally during this pandemic, my husband was going by George Carlin's credo that it's all BS and it's bad for you. Now, George Carlin did a whole tour and an HBO special based on this concept. But even George, in this very special, spoke of your right. He says they are BS. But he also explains why. He says, you want to know about your precious rights? Go look up Japanese Americans 1942 and you'll find all about your precious rights. And he's talking about the internment camps which the American government <clears throat> put upstanding legal Japanese Americans in for no real reason other than their heritage, that they were Japanese. Somehow their bloodline posed some sort of threat to the American government at the time. George goes on to say that we have privileges not really rights. And George
George died before the pandemic, before COVID, before the vaccines. So we really don't know what his opinion is on any of this. <clears throat> native tribes here in the U.S. are native. They are not from somewhere else. They can't go back to where white men tell them to go. Um, they, they can't go back to the land white man stole without kicking white man off of it. <laughs> when people say, go back to where you came from, to natives, <clears throat> you are on the land they came from. They can't go back anywhere because <clears throat> you're probably on their land. And because, you know, they tend to be small and brown people, <clears throat> people think they are immigrants. And I ask, are you going to move so I can go back to where I came from? <clears throat> I have some newly discovered Native American in me. My grandmother and her family apparently hid their heritage because there were bounties out on their heads. All these for fear, I guess, bounties were stricken. make people afraid. It worked. <laughs> All these far-right crazies running around with their misinformation are using comparisons to the Nazis, which I think are absurd. Because, well, I'll, I'll tell you why. If this was Nazi Germany, the Nazis would not, um, No, they would all still be looking for a way to kill everyone so they could have everything. As that was their main objective. They were not looking to save lives. The vaccines are saving lives. If we get to herd immunity, they will save even more lives. So, stop with these comparisons. Um, they're just not even in the same ballpark. The Japanese Americans and my Native ancestors both demonstrate the fragility of our rights and show how they really are privileges. George was right. They are privileges. But you know what else is a huge privilege? The vaccines. In America, we can get them for free almost any time of day or night on a walk-in basis. In California, they give you a $50 gift card for getting vaccinated. Some states are giving away free college tuition, lotteries. They can't force you. But they can incentivize you. No one was incentivized 
to go to the concentration camps or the internment camps. No one gave anybody a $50 gift card. They weren't trying to save anybody's life. George Carlin was also a hippie. He was the original hippy-dippy weatherman. The hippies have Larry Brilliant. Larry, a hippie turned epidemiologist, known to hang out with the merry pranksters and the like, Larry is all about epidemics. And that's what COVID is. It's a pandemic, but a, an epidemic is a mini pandemic. So it's the same thing, basically. Um, because of Larry and all of his efforts, the planet seems to have eradicated smallpox. He worked through the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, to all over the world to eradicate smallpox. And because of him, I think we did it. So as you can imagine, he's been talking up the vaccines to the hippies and everyone else. Saw him on the news not that long ago. Now, I'm not saying that all vaccines are good. I still think the flu vaccine sucks. Because it does. <laughs> On its best day, the flu vaccine is only 60% effective. These new mRNA vaccines are over 90% effective. We have never seen that kind of effectiveness in a vaccine before. We've just never seen it. These things are quite miraculous. You know, if you've been sitting there praying for a miracle to get you out of this, don't be like that guy in the fables that refuses the boat and refuses the helicopter and refuses the, all the help that God sends him. And then when he finally gets to heaven, he asks why God abandoned him. And God says, I sent you a boat and a helicopter and all this help and you didn't take it because you were waiting for God to save you. Well, I think this is God's miracle. But if you regularly get a flu shot and you're on the fence still about getting vaccinated, these new vaccines, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, are better, much better than the flu shot. Go get vaccinated. I'm vaccinated. Got both of my jabs of Pfizer back in June. I'm good. I had my kids fully vaccinated as soon as we could get them vaccinated. They're teenagers though, so <clears throat> we were lucky. The kids under 12 still cannot get vaccinated. Because these vaccines are so new, they just haven't been tested long enough for all of our safeguards. And there's a key word that should set off red flags. Safeguard. The children have laws in place for them to safeguard them from harm. We've put them there for the children. Safeguard. In the laws. The Nazis wanted to cause harm. When your rights are really being taken, no one would be safeguarding your children. 
That is not what people who mean harm do. They don't run around saving lives. They run around killing people and threatening to kill people. Can't you see that that is not what's going on here? This is not a Nazi effort. If it was, they'd be knocking on your door, asking you what flag you hang, and where your papers are. There are people in other countries who cannot get a vaccine that want one. They wait in long lines. Some places have to pay for them. Some countries are so corrupt that they vaccinated the elite rich folks, and that's all they plan to do. People like Larry Brilliant have to get out and get to those places. When we get to 80%, vaccinated on the planet, then we'll have global herd immunity. When we get to 80% vaccinated on our continent, then we'll get to continental herd immunity. And when we can get to about 80% or better of our continent vaccinated, we could eradicate COVID-19 here. Including its variants. Especially its variants. The reason we had to go back to wearing masks was because we did not get 80% vaccinated before this thing mutated again. So we did not reach herd immunity, continental or global, so it's back to wearing masks. If we had got to global or even continental herd immunity, then we could all take off all, our, all of our masks and leave them off. It doesn't continue to mutate. I should probably note here that I am a shaman and a healer, and I have actually done extensive research on this subject, but I usually cite my sources, and here I shall cite the CDC, the Center for Disease Control. I say continent because, like my native ancestors, this virus scoffs at borders. It does not care where Mexico begins and ends. It does not know about the Canadian border. This whole continent needs to reach 80% vaccinated for us to stop these variants. At least. On the news, I think it would be much more positive and informative if they kept showing the vaccination rate for particularly the U.S., Canada, and Mexico, instead of the death rates. That's depressing. I understand the point, but for those of us that are fully vaccinated, it's just depressing. And instead, I wonder if we shouldn't use reverse psychology on the unvaccinated. They want to take horse dewormer. Tell them it's something else, not the vaccine. Tell them it's the new party drug. Charge them for it. Make it seem hard to get and exclusive. Offer them a VIP package that includes 
ESPN or something while you wait your 15 minutes after your shot. Or where you get a beer or in states where it's legal, a joint, while you wait your 15 minutes in a posh room for just fifty nine ninety five or something. And maybe there's a chance that Beyonce might be getting her shot there, too. I can't do that. That would be lying. I used reverse psychology on my dogs years ago. They kept running off. <clears throat> and we lived in the inner city then. I couldn't have them running off. So I just got frustrated one day and I just opened the gate when they were in the yard and I said, go, you want to go so bad? I'm so horrible to be around. Go, get out of here. <laughs> and I yelled at them and they both looked at me all sad and put their ears back and sat down and as if to say, well, it's no fun now. <laughs> and neither of them ever ran off again. It worked. I didn't want them to run off, but I was like, you know, go if you really must. It can work. It is lying. But the unvaccinated are lying to themselves if they don't think what they are going out of their way to do is causing harm. Because it is. It's causing harm. And we know you're going out of your way to not get vaccinated, especially in the U.S. because it's just too easy to get vaccinated. It's harder to make a counterfeit card than it is to go down there and get vaccinated. Children under 12 cannot be vaccinated yet. The best way we can protect them is to get everyone over 12 vaccinated. That may get us to herd immunity so that the variants stop. Last season on our Is Love Wearing a Mask show, we proved that yes, love is wearing a mask. So wear it. You still need it. If you have children under 12 right now, love is totally wearing a mask when you go out and are around other people. Can you unvaccinated people look these kids under 12 in the eye and explain to them why you want to cause them harm? Because by not getting vaccinated, you are causing them harm. You are keeping us from getting to herd immunity and helping the virus mutate, making it more and more dangerous for the unvaccinated, mainly the children, to go out at all. By not wearing a mask, you are causing them harm because these are the two things that we adults, people over 12, can do. We can get vaccinated and we can wear a mask. Children under 12 can only wear a mask to protect themselves. And we have governors saying that they can't do the one thing that can protect them from this Delta variant, which is killing children, putting them in ICUs, and filling up ICU beds across the country. That is not love. If it causes harm, it's not love. We proved in our, our children, our our children love episode that our children are love and that they can teach us our best lessons in love as their parents let your kids teach you a lesson in love now don't
don't be one of those parents beating up teachers over mask mandates. That's not love on any level. Not at all. That doesn't protect your kid. In fact, it may put them in harm's way. Bullying teachers is not the answer, and it is not love. So do not do that. Getting vaccinated is not causing harm. I got vaccinated. My parents, my kids, we all got vaccinated and we are all good. And happy to have been vaccinated already when the Delta variant popped up. It helps me sleep at night to know we are all vaccinated. The Pope. Pope Francis is noted by numerous sources, NPR, The Guardian, CBS News, NBC News, The New York Times, as saying that getting vaccinated is, and I quote, an act of love. So there you have it. Getting vaccinated is love. Question answer. It was so simple to get vaccinated, so easy. I called my doctor and they hooked me up with the nearest vaccine clinic. <clears throat> Call your doctor, get vaccinated. Because friends, getting vaccinated is love. The Pope says it's an act of love. According to the Miami Herald, there is an ER doctor in the Miami area who says that getting vaccinated is an act of love also. The CDC lists in their reasons to vaccinate as you can protect yourself and your loved ones from disease, a reason to vaccinate. That's almost saying it's love from a very bureaucratic place that does not normally go there. And guys, the Pope said it's an act of love. So getting vaccinated is love. But I think at this point that deliberately not getting vaccinated is almost like a, a hate crime. It is definitely hate, and you're definitely hurting people deliberately because you are selfish. That, friends, is hatred. Love is getting vaccinated. Know the difference. Also, for the young ones, under 12, from the shaman, up the cinnamon in your kids' food. It's yummy and it's an antiviral. It can only help. <clears throat> Is cinnamon love? Mm. Another love show. Get out there and love. Go get vaccinated. It is love. If you have been vaccinated, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And vaccinated, unvaccinated, I love you. Thanks for watching. Go in love and stay safe. I'm a Lily Studios production.
vaccination. Go get vaccinated.